needed some help. We came as fast as we could. There ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. Thanks for the rescue, but I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Brainer, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today, and I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. How are you holding up, General? Ah, damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. They ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These blasted critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in the galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tychus. But we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead, we ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. <laughs> <laughs>